Why are Latin women considered more romantic than any other culture, right? I mean, because think about it. Everything is more so romanticized in the Latin culture. The Latin culture comes from the Roman Empire, right? You get the word Roman, romanticized. You know, it's it's more of a European mindset, right? It was passed on to the West. That's why we got it in the United States, too. That's why we celebrate, you know, Valentine's Day. Well, that day, everything is more romanticized. Everything is more based upon love, right? Think about it here in, in the Latin coast, Dominican Republic, South America, right? What does the what's the, the they favorite they favorite word to use, right? It's amor. They say thank gracias amor, thank you amor. Like they'll say they'll they'll just say everything in with amor, right? Like nice to meet you. They'll say uh, in amor. Like nice to meet you, amor. Like they'll just say amor in everything. It means love, right? Their words are more fantasized, right? Their their words their words are more rom- is romanticized, right? It's more of a love. They give you a, you hear when you hear them talk, it sounds so sensual, right? That's the key word, sensual, right? It give us more of a, a, a you know dealing with understanding the senses, right? How you talk, how you listen, right? The way you see things, it's more romanticized, right? It's more fantasized, right? It gives you more of arousal. Right. I'm trying to take y'all soil real fast. Right. This is why Latin women are considered more uh, romantic than any other culture. Think about it, too. They're more family oriented too. how they raised. They're more family oriented. Right. They raised from little, little, little kids. Right. The basis of life, cooking, cleaning, you know, what I'm saying taking care of the house, doing the little basic needs of life. Right. They're not surrounded by. Big cities, right? It'd be a small cultural group. They're not surrounded by industrial cities, right? But that's what that's what really was kicked off the whole romanticism in the states, right? Because when the industry started building, right, uh, the industrial revolution, when the industry started building, people got mad because that really took the illusion away of how they wanted to live, right? Because they cramped everybody into these inner cities, forced them to the inner cities. What's a lot of clutter and it's, it, it, it's, it's aggravating, right? People telling you what to do every day. You don't get a sense of freedom, right? So when you romanticize something, it's a sense of freedom. Doing it how you want to do it. If I Valentine's Day, people do what they, you have to come up to with new ideas in Valentine's Day. You come up with new ideas how to express your love to people. You got to get creative. You know what I'm saying? The cards got old. The flowers got old. That's what you do in a relationship. You got to keep doing something in a relationship to make it better. Keep that flame going. That's what romanticize is. So when Latin culture, they speak Spanish. Spanish is the number one most sexual language on earth. It don't get no sexier than Latin language than Spanish. You get what I'm saying? When you hear Spanish, bro, when you hear when you hear a woman speak Spanish, I don't know about y'all, but when I hear a woman speak Spanish, it does something to me, especially in the bedroom. You know what I'm saying? When, when, when a woman called me Diablo in the bedroom, Diablo, you know you're doing something right. When you when a woman can call you devil in the goddamn bedroom, you know you're doing something right. Let a woman call you in the bedroom, goddamn demon, like you be like, wait, what? That kind of like what? It's Diablo in Spanish. Listen, I, I ain't gonna get too. I don't know, I ain't trying to get too, but listen, it's more, like I said, it's more romanticized. Land culture is more romanticized, bro. It's romanticized, right? Like I said, it's more, it's more, uh, it's more of a uh, consumerism, right? It's more of a consumerism, right? It really consumes you in a way that no other culture really consumes you, Right? I know a lot of men, you come here, y'all, y'all come to the Dominican Republic of Latin culture, man, people spend money in Latin cultures. That's the flow of things, right? It keep everything moving, right? It's, it's, it's more like a, when you go to the Latin culture, it's more like a dream world, bro. It's like, it's more of a phantasmagoria. It's like more of a dream world, bro. You can do things in Latin culture that you can't do back in the States. The States is like the matrix. Like I said, it's the, it's the industry. It's more of a lockdown. They tell you how to live, how to think. On commercials, TV, they, tell, they, they pretty much mold your mind, right? 
They give you roles in the states. But out of the states, you got out of the states, you got the money, but you can make your own role. You can make your own, you can give people your, you can give people roles how you want to live your life. As long as you got that money, it's a dream world, baby. It's phantasmagoria. Right? It's just a state of mind where you it's, it, everything seems like a dream. It's like it's like it's not realistic. You can have any woman you want. With that dollar, you can get as much whatever you want to buy. You get what I'm saying? They not cramping into these inner cities and people forcing them to do things they don't want to do. They pretty much express their love and express how they feel. They family oriented, familiar, familiar. You get what I'm saying? They they pretty much create the life they want to live, right? They grow their own fruit, they food, they grow their own crops. You know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of their lifestyle is based upon tourism, right? Tourism is the number one um, way they create money and create their society and build their whole society. Tourism. Tourism. Us coming over and giving us our dollar. That's why, especially in the Dominican Republic, they kind of like give us that culture, that culture of greeting, bro. You know what I'm saying? We help build a their society. You know what I'm saying? Because we feel more free here, right? We feel more, you know what I'm saying? It, it's a place where we can, we can kick our feet up and relax, right? It's more fantasized. It's much more romanticized. You get what I'm saying? And creating a life that, the life, you, the life you wanted. I mean, when I first came here, I'm like, man, I can have any woman I want. That's romanticized. You can't do it back in the States. It's like, no, one woman. That's all you can have is one woman back in the States, bro. You can't do that no other way. You can't do that. Like, you can do that. You, you don't have to have one woman anywhere else in the world besides America. In America, they say one woman. That's not romanticized. Romanticized, you can go do whatever you want to do. It's romanticized. Right? That's why I say Latin women are more cons- considered more romantic than any other culture. It's rebellion of the heart against the intellect. Right? Rebellion of the heart against the intellect. Right? The intellect, it'll tell you, like, if something right or wrong, that's the, that's the states. Right? That's the matrix. You just use the intellect in the matrix. You don't go off of how you feel. Right? Your passion. You know what I'm saying? Your feelings. Going off how you feel. Your passion. That, that momentum of uh, your heart. You know what I'm saying? You go with the intellect. When something, your intellect tell you to do something, like, okay, I got to get in order. It's, it's based off rules and regulations. Right? That's more of a city thinking. You got to smarten up. More of a country thinking of outside the, the, the matrix of life. You go with your heart. You go with just being wild and free, like the wilderness. It's not an industry. It's not industrial. You get what I'm saying? It's more wild and free. Being yourself, doing things how you want to do it. So when you be wild and free, you can express yourself. You, you, you're free to express. It's, like free. it's basically freedom. Like I said, we are in the age of Aquarius. It's basically freedom, bro. These people out here are living life how they want to live, right? Just for one percent, even just this go to the next topic. Even Dominicans, right? The whole world, the whole word Dominican, bro. It it it, it comes from Dominic, right? Or dominance, or dome, or like dome is cathedral, right? It's based off of Dominic, Saint Dominic, right? Uh, Santo Domingo, Sunday, which means Lord, right? Which, like I said, cathedral, right? Uh, dominance uh, or dome, like the, the mental, the mentality, right? The motherboard, right? It goes back to, 